Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Nick. This week I built a really fun project, or at least I had fun building it. It's summertime around here and I needed a barbecue serving tray, or I guess you could call it a grilling tray. Spots for all your condiments, salt, pepper, napkins, all that good stuff. And it's woodworking themed. If you guys wanna see how I made it, stick around. I was going for kind of a rustic theme, so I started out with some cedar fence pickets. They measured approximately five eighths of an inch thick by five and a half inches wide. I cut them to length using my miter gauge, and then I could rip them to width, which in this case, I ripped them to just a little over two and a half inches wide. Then I could position the sides and ends for assembly. In this particular case, I was just going to use glue and screws. Actually, I was going to try and highlight the screws because it's kind of a rustic application and it's a woodworking themed project. So I really wanted the fasteners to be visible. I started out with my brad nailer just tacking each of the corners. That was going to make it easier for me to pre-drill and then drive in the screws. I used standard wood screws and finishing washers making sure not to over tighten it. With this cedar fence material, it's really easy to strip out the holes. Then using my trim router, I routed in a rabbet on the bottom to accept my bottom panel in which I had to glue and cut to size. Then just putting a little bit of glue in the bottom of that rabbet, I could use some brad nails to secure it in place. Any glue squeeze out should be wiped up. Then again, using my table saw, I ripped some pieces down to width so that they could act as dividers. Then I could kind of set everything in place and figure out how I wanted it laid out. Then take my divider pieces over to my miter saw, cut those to length, fit all my pieces, and glue all the sections in place. For some of the smaller pieces, I just used some CA glue so I didn't have to wait around for it to dry. And then some of the larger pieces, I used a combination of CA glue and wood glue. This made the whole process go real quick. Here you can see all the contents and everything fit nicely. Being I was going for kind of a rustic look, there was some clean cut saw edges. So I used a metal rasp to kind of dirty up the, the edges, but then I came back with a sanding pad to make sure there was no big splinters that were going to get you. For the napkin holder, I kind of wanted to mimic the guard on a table saw, so I drafted out a little sketch on a piece of paper with a pencil. After cutting that out with a scissors, I could then just trace that onto a piece of plexiglass and then cut that on my band saw. I made two of these pieces. You can clean up any of the rough edges with some sandpaper or a sanding pad. I took a piece of dowel and flattened one side of it and then drilled some holes in the end and then also some holes in the plexiglass and inserted a couple wood screws just so that the plexiglass sat nice and loose. I also created a little arm and then a holder with a metal pivot pin so that would kind of give it the action of a table saw guard. Then drilling in from the top so I could mark the location of it, I could then come from the underside, countersink for a screw, add a little bit of glue to the bottom, and then screw the whole assembly to the serving tray. Using these baby bots, I was going to use those as salt and pepper shakers. So I took those over to the drill press and drilled a bunch of small holes so that I could shake out some salt and pepper. My serving tray was going to need some handles to be able to grab it, and what better handles than to make some handsaw handles. Again, I just made a pattern by just kind of hand sketching in what I thought it should look like, cut the pieces out of maple over at the bandsaw, sanded the edges, and then brought them over to the router table and knocked off some of the sharp corners. I couldn't leave the maple natural. For whatever reason, it was screaming to me that a cheaper kind of home center handsaw needed to be brown. So I stained the handles a light brown. 
I drilled a couple pilot holes in each of these handles to accept some screws also with finishing washers. I liked how these looked because this looked like the hardware that normally comes on a handsaw. Then just a few coats of spray lacquer and we were just about done. I could fill the baby bots with both salt and pepper and then the larger glue bots with ketchup and mustard. The three paint cans were to hold spoons, forks, and knives. The saw blade guard held napkins. What else? Blue shop towels. And then just some paper plates held down by a large nut and bolt. But then there was one little tray left over. What was I going to put in there? Scrap wood, of course. Then it was time to get grilling. So there you go. That was a really fun project for me. I don't do a whole lot of themed projects. In fact, even before YouTube, I haven't ever really done a whole lot of themed But this is fun because it's woodworking themed, and I guess that makes sense. I guess I always looked at a glue bot with yellow glue in it and thought mustard. Leave it to me to think of food. But uh, So I figured, you know what, we'll put one with ketchup in it, and then you know, you'd be pretty much good to go for a, a grilling or barbecuing tray. I'm not going to get into the difference between grilling and barbecuing. That's a uh, debate for a whole nother day. Uh, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like videos like this. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. Um, and that's about all I got for you for this week. So until I see you guys next time, you guys take care. Ah. Uh.